Ready for... <laughs> the High Prosecutor's Office, room 1202. What? Uh, oh, oh, no, the bellboy. Yes, my apologies. Oh, it's you. Have we met somewhere? Huh? Mr. Edgeworth, I beg your leave. So long. Is Edgeworth here? There. Standing by the window. A teacup in his hand. Right. He has the hotel bring him tea service. Mr. Edgeworth, you're back from the district prosecutor's office. Inquiry? Uh, sorry for botching that sentence. I am. Can you imagine that? The, what was it? The prosecutor's office something inquiry? What was the, it was a yeah, bit of a mouthful. I don't, I don't remember. By the way, Detective Gumshoe was looking for you. Ah, oh, yes, he brought me the, the latest information, it seems. Really? Was it helpful? Apparently, a new French restaurant is opening near here. I think he was trying to console me somehow. Um, the real info is on the other side, Edgeworth. Oh, man. <laughs> Edgeworth and Gumshoe, secret <laughs> love. Well, not so secret love. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I think this whole time is thing is really taking a toll on him. So how did the inquiry committee go? Actually, they decided to treat this as this not as a case of concealing evidence, but as a communications error during the investigation. Concealing evidence? Yes, apparently there are some who believe that I concealed evidence. They gave me a warning. You were lucky this time. Again. Again? I've heard them say that so many times, ever since that case two years ago. Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? <clears throat> mm. Do you think the concealed evidence were potentially the missing pieces of the pot? Possibly. Well, I'm still the presiding and prosecuting attorney. However, something happened? He gave control of the investigation over to the police department. The police department? Yes, any further investigation for this case will be directed by the Chief of Police, Gant. Do you know what I've noticed? Hmm? I feel like I'm just repeating the last thing that's said in the previous sentence. Yeah, yeah she does kind of parrot. What? Hello, hello! Well, like, if he's doing this, oh, I can do nothing but wait for results. I'd be like, his results? What could those be? You know, that kind of thing? We'll see. Uh, I can do nothing but wait for his results. Uh, I see. Why, I ask you, why? All along, I've only done what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. But still... Wow, I've never seen him this out of sorts. Present... Bago! Oh, right! I better check this now. As I was saying, I... Hmm. What's this? A record of ID card usage? Edgeworth, you went into the evidence room that day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that's true. Why, Mr. Edgeworth? Please don't look at me like that. I was asked to go. By Chief Gant, no less. Do you think Gant's trying to frame him? Yes. Mm-hmm. The Chief of Police? He wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up half a year ago. He told me he wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. Isn't uh -huh. that the screwdriver? Uh oh yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> From Mia's case. Oh yeah, but it was solved, right? It would have been. It would have to be if the evidence was already fi filed. The chief is never one to explain himself. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. Can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. It really has nothing to do with the current case. I'm curious about this other case. I better make a note of it. Unless it's not, not the same screwdriver. Past case, bro. No, 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 no. Oh, a past case of Edgeworth. Half a year ago. Half it, a year ago. It, it has absolutely to be. Is, it, it has is, to be yeah. it. Mia's why, case. Why does Phoenix not recognize it? Yeah, Phoenix should recognize it. He was the one that found the screwdriver in the first place. Stubborn as always. I told you this has nothing to do with the current case.
Oh yeah, we already did confirm. Okay, so he he's just saying that that yeah. is in fact his number. Mm. Right, please. I'm the pro I'm the prosecutor on this case. You don't expect me to sit here and discuss the case with you over a cup of tea. I'll pass on the tea. Just tell me about the case. Mr. Wright, Mr. Edgeworth told you no in a very polite manner. Whose side are you on anyway? If I just show him my best evidence, I can get some reaction out of him. How about the pot? Or... No. No. Hmm. It really did seem like that... The incident with the card and the card numbers was the thing that triggers a reaction. I mean, I think maybe even showing him the ID card record was enough. Mm-hmm. Nope. Maybe Goodman's ID card? No. Anything else from the SL9 incident, perhaps? Just the switchblade knife. No. Oh! Oh! It must be... Here, I'm gonna just skip through this and we'll try this again. I know you. You've probably got a hold of some information already, right? It all has to do with that case you were on, the SL9 incident. Some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in. You're the man who revived the worst memory of my life. I figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. He must be talking about that. His father's murder. Murderer. Yeah, murder in that elevator. Okay, Edgeworth. Why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. Okay, so that was it, actually. Yeah. The SL9 incident was a heinous serial killing case. The head of the investigation was the de deputy chief of police at the time. Uh. Damon Gant. That wacky old coop was involved in the case two years ago, too, then. He was a top off top officer, and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Wow! You get nervous, too, Mr. Edgeworth? But I want to know is why was a de deputy chief of, chief of police on the investigation? In truth, I used slightly more extreme methods than usual. We were dealing with a vicious murderer. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We won our guilty verdict, and the killer was executed. Wait, you didn't. Of course not. I didn't touch the evidence. Yes, I will do everything in my power to win a trial. However, I do have a code, and I follow it faithfully. By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor wanted to know something. M my sister! What? If you were still studying forensic science... Huh? Well, y yes! Of course! Why? Just today, Mr. Wright and I were using this. Luminol testing fluid, hmm. Well then, you might have a use for this. <gasps> Aluminum powder for taking fingerprints! It has been chemically treated for better adhesion. For... for me? Are you sure? We are the enemy, you know. I have no say in today's investigation. Do as you will. Edgeworth, I'm really... No need to thank me. Here, take your powder and these fingerprint files for everyone involved. I, uh, th thanks! How about giving these to Detective Gumshoe as well? Ah, you can use them anyway. Now you can use them on fingerprints? Uh, the handprints. Handprints, specifically. Well, let's get going. One last investigation. Right! I do seem to remember seeing a suspicious handprint somewhere. Can we put the... Yeah... Like, let's do the luminol on the floor and oh, that's see if point. Edgeworth says anything about the blood on the ground. It used to be the last thing. Mm -hmm. Nope. You can't hover over it again? Nope. Aww. We found it. But nothing. I didn't investigate everything, but... Yeah. We, we've seen that before. Yeah, we've seen all this. Unless something has changed. Which might be this? Uh, 
it looks like the pieces are still in their proper position. Oh, she's gone. So the handprints we found only in the evidence room. Yep. Investigation turned up a suspicious handprint. Here! In this blood on the detective's evidence locker! Let's yep. use the secret weapon we just borrowed. I'm still a little disappointed we do not have a game where we can play as Phoenix and Edgeworth kind of in tandem, like he mm -hmm. replaces uh, Maya. It's like, that would be so satisfying, just the two of them actually being friends for once. Mm -hmm. And just like, being like, alright, well, we know this person is guilty as hell, let's work together on this. Oh well. I mean, that's more or less what this, this is, but like, him not being an active participant. I mean, the interesting thing is, Phoenix actually does a lot of investigating that does end up being, like, in the process of defending your own client, you're proving the guilt of someone else. So in yeah. a way, you are on yeah, the spot and prosecuting I, I, someone I else. I kind of want, like, I, I realize it's too late for that now, but it would be so satisfying to have him team up with different people other than just Emma or Maya. And maybe this does happen later on, but, like, it'd be pretty fun if it was just Gumshoe for once. <laughs> just following you around and being like, Ah, oh, this is weird. Why are you doing this? He's like, I'm, I'm actually doing your job. And he's like, oh, shoot. Right. Let's get started. First, choose a finger. A finger? Each finger leaves behind a slightly different imprint. So let's choose the finger that will have left behind the clearest print. You really can't tell the difference at a glance. Pro quit proca uh, procrastinating and choose a finger. Okay, now it's time to check for prints. Let me show you how it's done. Emma's starting to get that sparkle in her eyes. First, we sprinkle the aluminum powder around. Huh? How do you do that? Hit enter. See? Ah. Looks like that did the trick. The aluminum powder adheres completely to the print. Once the powder is well spread, just blow away the excess. Huh? How do I do that? Oh, right. On the DS, you had to actually, actually blow, blow on the DS. And it sucks, because I, I think I got stuck here, because one of us got stuck here, because we couldn't blow. Oh, because I was emulating it. Oh. I was emulating it on my computer. You were playing it on the DS. Because we were both playing it in parallel. And I couldn't continue because... No, I couldn't continue. Oh, you couldn't continue. Yeah, and I I, I had to, like... I, I think I spent, like, ten minutes trying to figure out how to, like, jury rig uh, blowing. And I think it, there was a feature for that, but it, I was actually stuck for a while being kind of like, Oh, no. The curse of piracy, even mm -hmm. though I had, like, a physical copy. Which you, you... you did have the physical copy that I was playing, but... Oh, well. With E. Exciting. I know. Imagine you're blowing out the candles on a birthday cake. See? Oh, that looks like fun. It might take some getting used to, though. It's fine. It won't go up your nose or anything. You just pour the powder in thick and blow away the extra. Those are the basics of fin fingerprinting, Mr. Wright. Guess I'd better give it a try. Poofy, 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 maximum poof. <laughs> we Looks apparently like have brush. limited amounts of this stuff, courtesy of Edgeworth. <laughs> I'm just imagining Phoenix is just standing there, just upending the whole, like, bottle worth. Mm. Wait. Can you, can you blow it with E? No, no, no please. No, no. <laughs> please don't try covering this is every so single satisfying. picture. Um, I want to see what happens when we blow this. I will take a mini nap. Okay, have fun with your mini nap. I am being a public nuisance. Because, yeah, when are we going to get the opportunity to do this again? We might dust for fingerprints like once or twice more, but I doubt it. I think we have one more day of investigating after this. Maybe? I actually don't know. I think we do. We... It'd be really hard to get that stuff down below. 
Also, there's still so many pixels. I know. I, I'm not going to be able to get everything. I was just sitting there being like, Phoenix, stop. I'm like, so chilly. This is a gift. You want to go turn off the AC while I finish this? Yeah, and maybe I want my robe. Yeah, go get your robe. I might as well be extra thorough while you do so. But yeah, make sure the AC is set to uh, like Heat. 70 degrees, maybe? Well, the thing is, the temperature is going to drop overnight, so we can't have the AC on. Well, if you just leave it at 70, it won't matter. I'm sorry for those of you watching in a dark room. We are. It's a little hard on the eyes. Okay. I think in real life, Wander might have failed this part of the test. Actually, fun fact, uh... I have the fingerprinting merit badge. I think it was the first merit badge I ever received in Boy Scouts. Uh, it took about half an hour. It is the, I think, by far the easiest merit badge to get in Boy Scouts. Because all you have to do is, like, literally take some fingerprints, do, like, a quick test on how fingerprints work, and that's about it. Yeah, it's very hard on the eyes. I apologize. Can I just hold it? No, I have to match the button. Oh, that's unfortunate. 68 to 72 should work best. So the problem with our AC is uh, our thermostat is downstairs. Our house is very unevenly heated. It is very warm upstairs and it is very cold downstairs because, uh, I mean, that's kind of how it works in a lot of houses. And so unfortunately, uh, the vent distribution and like he heat distribution, whatever, is just, is just bad. Blinded by science. I am sorry. Uh, and so effectively, if we set it to 68, uh, if we set the heat to 68, it'll be like 80 upstairs. If we set the AC downstairs to 68, it drags the whole house below that because it's effectively uh, cooling the upper floor first and heating the upper floor first and the, the lower floor has no idea. Uh, which is where the thermostat is, and it's inconvenient. Okay, well, I think we've thoroughly destroyed Emma's gift. I apologize. I could turn this off uh, and just hide it for a bit. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't want to blow until Shell gets here. <laughs> Get a window AC unit for just upstairs. That's wasteful. Also, I really don't want to have any, any of my windows even remotely open. Uh, because the problem is we have a bunch of kind of jerkish neighbors that like to drive by with extraordinarily loud cars or loud music. So, like, I don't really want to listen to whatever the latest rap songs are, uh, in my recordings. I have to hear them through my headphones, but luckily it doesn't get in through, through my speak, well, through my mic or anything. I'm back. What was that? Oh, you're back with some bread. I'll probably have a sandwich after. Wow, you really did get that pretty spotless. I think I got everything. Like, uh, no, there's a pixel up here that I missed. Okay, fixed it. <laughs> oh, uh, no. All right, That's we're blinding. Good. Blow! Wow, that was kind of disappointing. Aha! Uh -huh. You did it. You found one. But this looks nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I guess it doesn't. Wearing a glove. Yeah, gloves. What does it mean? It... Wait, is that supposed to be I think it yeah. means? I think it means we're out of luck. Out of luck? The person who left this handprint must have worn a, worn gloves. Uh, don't tell me we've been wasting our time here. Ah! Uh. Hey, calm down. That's just the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigations. But it does seem like a shame. While we're at it, why don't we look for other prints? Other prints? Looking at the locker door again, closely. Oh look, there's one that's in gray, down below. It seems like there are fingerprints outside the bloody handprint as well. Let's see if we can find a clear print. Ah, fingerprints outside the blood. I mean, there's that one right there, the gray, yeah. I'm not gonna go overboard this time around. <laughs> Just extremely overboard as usual! No. Yeah, 
It actually really does want you to get some pretty hefty coverage here. Yay! A print so clear it's dazzling. D dazzling Anyway, this print took a lot of effort to find. Let's mash it up right away. So we're not done yet. This is quite a process. Well, there's no point in finding a fingerprint and not knowing who the owner is, right? Guess she's right. Look at the fingerprint data we got from Mr. Edgeworth. And point out the person you think left the, these prints. Huh? How am I supposed to know who it was? I could make a pretty good guess. The bloody handprint and the fingerprints are in different places, right? That means that the prints probably don't have anything to do with our case. So, whose fingerprints would most likely be found on this locker? Well, this Gum evidence locker. Yeah, it's gumshoe. Mm-hmm. Yep, gumshoe. Prints belong to Detective Gumshoe. Look at that scowl. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You gave me this so what look. I guess it's probably because I was thinking so what. Okay. So you came up with nothing this time, but there's always next time. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. You gotta roll with the punches, Mr. Wright. Thanks for the sympathy. Wait, if I remember correctly, there's one other handprint in this room. Let's check it out. Yeah, the one over on that side. Probably gotta start with the... Well, I'm gonna just skip ahead. Nope. Got Illuminol. Yep. <clears throat> okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. This is where we got a luminal fluid reaction, right? Right, there was a handprint here. Okay, wanna try using this? There go her eyes sparkling again. Check for prints. Yeah, why would you have the option to leave it be? Okay, let's check for prints. That's the spirit. Oh, but I have to warn you about something first. What? The area with the blood was wiped away, right? We only ended up finding but it. We only ended up finding oh. it using chemical means. Any prints in that area will have been wiped away too. Oh, right. So that means no prints. Would you say the probability of your hypothesis is high? Don't ask me. Anyway, we must try to find prints that weren't wiped away. Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hands. we get outside of? Yep. Because there's only blood in certain spots. Mm -hmm. Different print than gumshoe, but that probably should have been really obvious. So knowing who else entered the room, would it be an Edgeworth print or someone else? Someone else. Edgeworth would not be dealing with blood. It might be... Oh, this is a bloody one, right? Yeah. Oh. That one isn't... Nope. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I just pressed it by reaction. Big Marshall. Now that looks really close. That looks like it's it. Yeah. Hey, these fingerprints, they... Whose are they? Whose? Is it someone I know? It's Officer Marshall. Huh? Uh, Officer Jake Marshall? Marshall's fingerprints added to the court record. So did he dress up? Might have been. Hmm. Th that's got to be a coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. Emma, this is decidedly different from Detective Gumshoe's prints. The luminol reaction, the blood and the fingerprints are in the same place. Oh! Uh, oh! 
So we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints on a wiped blood stain. But why would Officer Marshall? It looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. Uh, I guess this is what you call decisive evidence. I, I don't believe it. To be continued. Ah. Would you can like I, to save? Yes. And I suppose that'll be it for tonight because it's almost midnight. Probably. I mean, I'm tired. I could keep going. <laughs>